Hey everyone, welcome back to a new PS Vita homebrew video. And today we have a new update to Flycast, which is the Dreamcast emulator for the PS Vita. How exciting. I'm very, very happy to see an update to this amazing emulator. And thanks to everyone who has worked on this uh, emulator. And it's great to see that the uh, homebrew scene is still going strong. However, there is a little bit of drama with this uh, new release of Flycast. And the PS Vita community has been a little upset about a message that pops up when you first start Flycast. Now, if you have Auto Plugins 2 installed, you're not going to be able to use the latest release of Flycast through the Vita DB or the Better Homebrew Browser or the uh, original Vita Homebrew Browser. So there's a little bit of drama between a couple devs and the uh, original author is not a big fan of auto plugins too. And uh, there's some developers that say the same thing, saying like, hey, auto plugins 2 is not a good application. And I actually had a developer recently comment on one of my videos saying you shouldn't recommend auto plugins 2 because it causes too many issues. Now, personally, for me, I have not seen an issue with auto plugins 2. The only issue I had with my SD card, which a lot of people were saying that had corrupted and soft brick PS Vitas due to auto plugins too, which I don't really believe. I think these users installed all sorts of plugins. And when I recommend auto plugins too, I make sure that you guys are aware of each plugin that you're installing and what specifically they, what they do. Uh, for your Vita and I wouldn't recommend just going into the damn auto plugins too and just install every plugin. Now going back to what I was saying, I've never really seen an issue with my SD card or any corruption. Only the fact that I had to uh, reformat my SD card to a much larger cluster size to get more space because there was missing space, which I already covered in another video. But yeah, we're going to get into it, but I just wanted to explain what's going on with Flycast. And a lot of users were not happy about the original author gatekeeping the Flycast emulator. Uh, and the message was saying, hey, you have to delete this application because me and other developers do not like this app and you shouldn't be using it. So delete it or else you can't use my app. So... For me personally, I don't want to get into too much drama, but that's what's been going on with this Flycast emulator, and there's been a lot of back and forth here. Uh, I personally love Auto Plugins too. I think it's very convenient to install these plugins, and uh, there has been a little bit of disrespect towards the Vita community uh, using Auto Plugins too, and I don't really appreciate that. You know, I love the community, and I don't like, especially a developer going and attacking and calling the community uh, stupid or idiots and stuff like that. So it's it's a little bit annoying, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, but uh, just a little disappointed. Actually, not a little. I'm very, very disappointed in the fact that this is all going on. But the VPK that I'll have available for you, which I found through Reddit, a user shared a VPK which is the updated Flycast, but without the message that pops up, which is great. So I don't really want to see that on my Vita, and I'm glad I came across this uh, version, which is awesome. So I'll have that link in the description down below for you so you don't have to see that message or delete your auto plugins too. Now, I have auto plugins too completely installed. We have the new uh, update to uh, Flycast here. Now, here are some of the games that I have. Uh, copied over onto my SD card. Uh, Third Strike is working. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 kind of... I have to figure out what's going on there, especially with Sonic Adventure 1. This one's not working at all. Um, Resident Evil Code Veronica is working. Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 are working. Uh, I think I have to do some adjustments through the settings and figure out what's the best uh, to have these games run smooth. But for the most part, uh, they do run. It works very, very well. 
And yeah, let's dive into it here. Uh, now, before we do, you do have to have the updated uh, plugin to, let's see here, let me go to my desktop. Yes, you do have to have the updated version of KU Bridge version 0.2. So make sure you update this. And if you already have KU Bridge installed on your Vito, all you have to do is download the skprx file and copy it over into your URO file under the Thai folder. So let me show you guys where to put that on your Vita. We'll go through Vita Shell. Let's go back to URO folder. Here's our Thai folder and the KU bridge. So you can see the date there that's been last updated. Uh, today is August 24, 2022. So that has been updated to version 0.2. So make sure you have KU Bridge updated. Otherwise, this will not work. Let's go to Flycast. And there we go. Let's jump into Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And this game works great. Uh, I would love to have audio running in the background for you but uh, uh, the audio cable to my PC just doesn't work very well and it's very staticky so uh, that's the reason why I don't have audio going. Uh, pressing select will bring up this menu where you can load state, slot 1, save state, settings, resume, eject disk, cheats and exit. Going into settings here you can change uh, your video settings. I disable shadows and fog and I'm just been playing around here a little bit as to what's the best uh, setup and each game is going to be a little different like I know Marvel vs. Capcom 1 runs terrible with these settings it's not very smooth but for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 it works great uh, I also had to change my content location I have my games in the ROMs folder and I have a specific Dreamcast folder for those games. So you just have to make sure to add it from your UXO or whichever directory or partition you have on your Vita. Uh, so yeah, covered that. Let's see here. Oh, and you can also uh, do an automatic save and load, which is nice. Uh, go to controls. There are the options there. Uh, video play around through this and see what works for you uh, one thing I do have to enable is let's see here show FPS counter and I do recommend having the uh, overclock plugin all uh, set up on your Vita which uh, overclocks your CPU let me uh, show you here real quick there it is so overclock the CPU good to go and I do have a video covered on that and you can see that we're running at 60 frames with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, Street Fighter 3 was running very good too. Uh, let's see, Ver Code Veronica was sitting at like 30 frames. Not too bad. I'll just go into arcade mode here real quick with MVC2. I don't have uh, these characters unlocked, but I will definitely start getting into it. Now, the original release that I covered, uh, I think a year ago, uh, beginning of last year, uh, it was kind of working, but it would lag here and there, so it wasn't too consistent. So it's nice to see an update to this amazing emulator. So thanks to everyone that worked on this. Let's go to Turbo. And it's versus. Uh, one thing I noticed though is like those little squares around the character, but if that doesn't bother you, uh, you should be good. But yeah, you can see at the bottom there, the upper left hand corner is showing frames too, but uh, I prefer the the emulator's frames, uh, frame counter because it looks looks a lot nicer and it's not being covered by some uh, by some icons. 
But yeah, you can change the widescreen here. Go to settings, go to video, and we can do widescreen. Go back, zoom, and you have a full screen there. Very nice. All right, so let's go back. And we, we are still keeping those frames over 50, 55, which is great. And some of these levels, you know, they have a lot of moving stuff in the background. So that might be the reason why some of it does get laggy. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's go back and... Down here, we can change our internal resolution. I'd recommend leaving it on native. Uh, I wouldn't go anything higher than that. You might lose some frames. I mean, we can try 1.5, but half looks terrible. Don't try half. Uh, let's go and take a look at this resolution. And damn, that actually looks a lot nicer. Looks like those little squares are kind of disappearing there a little bit. But we did lose a little bit of frames. You can see that we're not consistent on 57 anymore. So we're now staying. Oh, okay. So we're now back. I guess with the transition of the characters. But yeah, a lot of testing still to do here. But I just wanted to cover this and let you guys know about the new update of Flycast. How amazing is that? But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. And... I do apologize for bringing that stuff up here in the beginning of the video, the whole uh, the drama between the devs and, and auto plugins too and, and the Flycast emulator, but I thought it had to be brought up because some people are going to be asking, hey, why isn't that uh, weird window or, or the message showing up for you? Uh, and some are going to be asking as to why. Uh, we have to delete auto plugins too and and what's been going on so i just want to keep you guys informed uh i wouldn't really feed into it uh guys just be aware of what's going on and um i, I wouldn't try to get yourself involved in it but i felt like i had to really speak up uh, because i do have a lot of respect for the ps vita community and um I really want to speak my piece, especially here as a content creator who reviews some of this stuff and has fun uh, doing this type of content, you know, covering homebrew and, and doing all these amazing videos that I have so much fun doing. Uh, I, I think I have to really speak my piece, you know, and really say that uh, uh, I don't think it's okay to gatekeep. <laughs> uh you, you know, a, a certain application just because you have a, a a personal opinion towards another person's work or a certain app or if you're getting constantly bombarded by questions and stuff like that. I think it's a little bit ridiculous and I think there has to be some kind of a fine line not to cross. And as you start to disrespect the, the PS Vita community, that's when I take it personal and... Um, that's just not okay. So hopefully you guys have fun with the new Flycast update. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this new update. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.